Hello and welcome to the breakdown episode from this, the last week of the second round of Dialogue Rugby League. It has been a fantastic second round. It started off with a bang and ended with a couple of bangs as well. We move now into the super round, but let's look back and see what happened in the last week of the league. Our first result of the week, we had Air Force hosting CRNFC and that turned out to be an easy win in the end for CRNFC. 36 points to 26, they got their bonus point. CHNFC took on Army and despite Army going into an early lead, they managed to concede the game in the end. 24 points to 22, a close one for them, both teams scoring bonus points. Havelocks took on Candy in what was going to be the battle of the league competition so far and that's exactly how it turned out. A really close win for Havelocks, 28 points to 26, they came back and won that game in great style and Navy taking on police a lackluster game there with not a lot on, on the line and in the end it was police who managed to score their win 26 points to 17 against Navy in Ballysera which is an upset of sorts. Let's look at our first game for the weekend. We had CH taking on Army in what was expected to be a grudge battle. You remember at Police Park, Army managed to beat CH. But CH with Adam Gowda in the side has become a completely different team at the start of this second round. They've won nine or ten matches now on the trot and it's a fantastic performance from them. But this one was not without its little bit of hiccups. Gowda himself had a bit of an off day in defence. I think Viper Gunaratna was making a plan to target him, stand him up and then move the ball outside him. I thought Ashan Bandara had a good... Uh, uh, game uh, doing that as well but unfortunately for Army they couldn't hold on to that lead the experience telling in uh, CH's ranks the superior fitness also probably telling a lot of weight in that forward pack CH have a lot of replacements to bring on quality replacements and that's what made the difference in the end 24 points to 22 uh, they managed to win that game and keep their title hopes alive in the sense that they look like they might be real competitors when the Clifford Cup knockout tournament comes around but to try and overhaul the top two teams in this uh, super round that's going to be a tough ask for them but they'll definitely keep trying our next match Havelock's taking on Candy and that was the game that everyone was building up towards. This was a game that might have in previous seasons been the title decider but unfortunately for uh, for Candy Sports Club that was not to be uh, or fortunately rather for Candy Sports Club that was not to be. Havelock's did manage to get into an early lead uh, or Candy did manage to get into an early lead and Havelock's came back really strongly into that game. They scored points just at the stroke of half time. It was Risa Mubarak who put over a touchline conversion just to boost the morale of uh, the team after Sandun Herath had scored in the corner. Um, Havelock tried manfully for 40 minutes and it was just on the 40 minute mark that Herath managed to score and they went into half time with 19-7 on the scoreboard instead of 19-0. And from then on we know that Candy has had a second half weakness this season and Havelock came to exploit that. They knew that the game was far from over at the 40 minute mark and they kept hammering away at that candy line and it broke and it was uh, the in the um, uh, the injection of Mithun Hapugoda that really made a difference as well. He was uh, devastating from the base and I think I like this combination of Rahul starting and uh, Vimukti um, uh, and uh, Mithun Hapugoda coming on uh, later on in the game to try and finish off because he creates havoc among defenders. He almost scored with his second touch, knocked the ball on but then did manage to score the try that was the decisive one in uh, that game. So outstanding uh, game from Havelocks to hold on and some superb defensive work from Riza Mubarak and Randy Silva in midfield and at the back as well. Their old hands and the new uh, generation stepping up in the absence of some key injuries to Dushman the Priyadarshan as well as uh, to Dinu Kamara Singer. Candy Richard Dhammapala stepped up, scored the try that might have gotten them the win late on in that game. Uh, they managed to score a few points in the second half this time as well. They're better performance than they put up against CRNFC but still it was not enough for them and they suffered their third defeat in the league, something we have uh, not heard of for a long, long time from Candy Sports Club setting us up nicely for the Super Round. Then we had our third game, Navy versus Police, an outstanding game for Police in the fact that they got a win, but the quality of the rugby not probably as good as they should have expected from these teams. And Navy would have been the front runners going into this game, especially playing at home, but somehow they seem to have dropped the ball literally and metaphorically because they're not really playing for too much. They're playing for the plate competition. Army looks like they might have that uh, sewn up as well, but Police got a win. It was an important win for them and with uh, Emosi Vunivosi in the side as well, making the difference. Uh, in his combination with uh, Sachit Silva uh, in, uh, in that midfield for Police Sports Club. So an outstanding performance from those two, uh, but uh, the game itself a little bit lacklustre and hopefully we'll see the team stepping up for the plate round competition. 
Don't forget that you can check out all the stats of the Dialogue Rugby League at stats.thepapare.com. Let's look at the numbers from this weekend's action. After this week's action, we have Havelock Sports Club leading the pack. And if the league ended this week like it was scheduled to have done previous seasons and Candy were uh, opposed to the Super Round, then Candy would have been in second place and Havelock would have won the league. So Candy must be thanking their lucky stars that there is a second round to keep them in the competition at the moment. So 72 points have locks after that win against uh, the uh the Candy team. Uh, they go on to 72 points with Candy at 69. They got their bonus point, the four tries plus uh, their bonus point for finishing within seven as well. So they stay within touching distance, just a three point gap, which is absolutely nothing uh, when you look at the fact that these two teams will be meeting again. CH and FC climbing up steadily. And if CH have a big win in their next game and Candy suffer another loss, then CH have a chance to go up uh, to second place as well. CR and FC have, sp have been hanging on to that fourth spot for quite a long time. They've dropped down to fifth for a bit but then managed to come up uh, the ranks with a good win over Army Sports Club earlier on in the season and they're hanging on to that uh, fourth spot but don't look at them to climb much higher than that. Uh, they will have to play much better in uh, the league competition if they're going to make any inroads. Army look like they're the team to beat in the plate competition, but Police look like the team that can actually do that. You remember the last league game between these two teams were drawn as well. And Navy will be disappointed with their performance. They're level with Police, but they have dropped to uh, seventh place. And Air Force, with just that one win, uh, the solitary win in the season, they're coming up in eighth place. And all of those teams in the bottom four will compete for the plate championship. Let's look at our top stats in terms of point scorers individually. And we have Sudam Surya Rachi who has scored 10 tries and has 50 points to his name and some seriously good tries as well in decisive moments of games. That has what made the difference in Sudam Surya Rachi's tries. Danushka Ranjan hasn't been able to get on the board. He might have had a chance to score the match-winning try uh, for Candy against Havelox. What was cut down by a double tackle uh, from Reza Mubarak. Made the first one, dropped Ranjan, came back and hit him again uh, to force the knock on some outstanding performance. Uh, at uh, fullback in defence and Mithun Hapugoda, the Havelocks man, has suddenly shot up the table and he's got eight tries as uh, well. So look for him to make a difference in the upcoming few rounds. In our top point scorers category, we have Samuel Madhuanta who is still roaring ahead in uh, top position. He's scoring tries to add to the uh, points that he's getting off his boot as well and again, decisive tries uh, for CHNFC. What a season he's having and Thiruna Vijay Singh also for Candy, 158 points and Tharindra Atwatta closing in on him but unlikely that he will catch up 126 points uh, for Ratpatta, who was the early leader as well. Let's look at our fixtures from the Super Round for this so weekend. We have games on Saturday and Sunday, plate games as well as cup games. And in the plate championship, we have Army taking on Air Force at Valisara. That game is going to be on Saturday and expect Army to perhaps win that one because both teams will be playing away from their traditional home grounds. We have Police taking on Navy in what was a repeat of uh, last week's encounter and interesting matchup as well. Look for Police to continue that momentum that they had against Navy, especially with their foreign player in the ranks. Then we have have the cup competition. Havelocks taking on Sierra and FC. That's the rank one versus rank four uh, matchup. And Havelocks will take on Sierra at Havelock Park. The game is at 4 p.m. So it's not under lights. It will be in the hot afternoon. And on the next day, Sunday, we have Candy taking on CH and FC in the two versus three clash. And Nittavala will be a difficult place for CH to travel to. But given the way that they have been playing recently and looking at Candy's second half woes, look for an upset. Maybe Nittavala will see their second defeat in the season. Who knows? We'll keep our fingers crossed for a wonderful game of rugby there, that's for sure. And uh, that's our competition for the Super Round. Uh, we'll uh, keep you up to date, of course. Live scores then again. The Papare.com with the PVC. We have a trivia question for this week as well. You stand yourself a chance to win yourself a replica Dialogue Tuskers uh, jersey curtsy of Dialogue, of course. And our trivia question this time is after how many years did Havelock Sports Club beat Candy in the league competition? After how many years did Havelock's beat Candy in the league? Check and see when uh, Havelock's last one. Do your mathematics and uh, comment either on YouTube, comment on our Facebook page or whatever uh, way in social media you want to contact us. Comment below and uh, you can win yourself the prize. 
Well, that brings us to an end of our breakdown segment for this, the last weekend of round two of the Dialogue Rugby League. It has been an absolutely entertaining round and what a competitive league we are having. The Super Round comes up and look for those to be really competitive as well. Absolutely nothing will be left on the park because it is everything winner takes all. So let's wait and see how those teams turn out. Thanks a lot uh, for joining us on the breakdown. Make sure you join us on thepapare.com for all the live action from the Super Round.